This is the NOAA 19 weather satellite. And it's being uh, received. Today, October 5th, and here it goes. It's uh, not a great pass. It's not one of the best pass because it's way over on the uh, Atlantic Ocean edge on the east. So it's kind of far away from me. Uh, you can see here the uh, range is more than 2,000 kilometers away. Pretty amazing that you're receiving something 2,000 kilometers away you know, out into space. That's uh, actually going over the Atlantic Ocean at this time. And it's strong enough that it's actually triggering my S meter here, you can see. It's giving an interesting signal. So it's nominal frequency of 137.100, but with Doppler shift you gotta tune slightly into the frequencies, you see. It's somewhere here. But it's nominal frequency is 137.100 exactly. But it will range, of course, because of the Doppler from 137.105, 106 to about 137.095. Now, with the proper decoding software, you can actually uh, decode images, preferably if you have at least 12 kilohertz uh, large filter. I don't, but uh, I will try to decode. Someone told me that even if it's not perfect, it still works with a, a narrower filter. So uh, that will be one of the videos soon, decoding a uh, weather chart from the uh, low Earth NOAA satellites. And of course, uh, decoding with my uh, Amradio Deluxe software on my laptop with my radio plugged in uh, via a uh, USB cable here into the back of my uh, radio on uh, the uh, radio serial port. So this is uh, NOAA 19 weather satellite from the United States uh, National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. Uh, one of the four or five satellites that are actually uh, working from uh, the uh, NOAA uh, administration. Very easy to pick up even on a handheld scanner. Uh, it's still easy to pick up so uh, even, even, if you, even if you have only a handheld little handheld scanner um, if you know when it's going over, uh, try it, you'll hear it almost sure, even with the uh, little rubber duck antenna.